Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Woody McLean and Gabrielle Dennis. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Belder BB Show. Hey, yes, yes, yes. awesome. I'm excited to talk with you guys because you guys are bringing what I'm calling a historic uh, story to all of us. And if I could start with you, Gabrielle, let's, let's define your character. What role are you playing? I play Whitney Houston, mm-hmm. uh, Whitney Elizabeth Houston, um, who we all love and adore. Um, we've all benefited so much from what she's given to us in life as far as the voice um, and what that means to us. But um, I get to play her in a role we haven't really seen much of um, deep as far as, you know, an at-home wife and mother, um, you know, um, a woman who struggles with um uh, things that happen mm-hmm. in their relationship and a lot of personal heartache uh, and how they cope with that. So um, it's a very um, interesting and it was an honor to play her and I love her and respect her so much and we approach these roles with so much respect and responsibility knowing who we are playing. Um, but we hope that people get to see a different side of what they think they know of Bobby and Whitney and dive into um, the, human, the, human, the humanity of them. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that's a lovely tribute. All right, Woody, you're playing an iconic role, mm-hmm. Bobby Brown. Yep. Tell us about how you embody this. Uh, <laughs> I had I had the real thing. I mean, I was like super lucky to have Bobby there. You know what I mean? He was there every step of the way. Uh so he was able to to put me in the the state that he was in during a lot of those moments. Some moments he really couldn't be on set. Like anything with Bobby Christina, it was it was really tough for him. Um, but um, I'm just super blessed to have Bobby still alive here to tell his story and to help me betray him the best way that I could. That's right. He wanted to tell. Um, he he was very hands on with this. This is really his his interpretation, his vision of his life. So this is as close to someone telling their, their their life story, as I've seen in a long time. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you also, you, but you were well prepared for this. Life prepares you for things. You had been a part of the New Edition movie before this, or the yeah. New Edition story, rather. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> and so you were well prepared to play this role. So I'm thinking by the time you get to Bobby Brown, you are very seasoned to bring this to the screen for us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, a lot. Yeah, we was ready. And he does such an amazing <laughs> job. It's just beyond just the acting and the performance, but his singing and the dancing and all of the in, encapsulating who Bobby was. And he he's got the swag down and the attitude and the emotion in it. He I can't wait for people to see the movie. Thank you. Well, you know you're pretty pretty on point yourself, Gabrielle. Yes. Even though you didn't play anything from the movie, but we've seen you in Luke Cage. You were mm-hmm. really good at that. Ah, thank you. So you yeah, the game. You yep. have Talk to him. also, too, now. We know a little bit about hey. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So yeah. You, well, I brought up you guys' past to, to see, to tell others where you are, what you're bringing to the screen. I think this is an important story. That's just my opinion. Because, one, Bobby Brown is still here. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times stories don't get told when people are here. And also, too, he had such a great impact on bringing this to the screen. So I'm thinking we're getting an authentic movie, we're getting a real movie, and we're getting a truthful movie. You guys agree? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. For yeah. sure. And I feel like for for all the generations, because this happened with a new edition story, it's kind of, it's people can appreciate what these artists contributed to music and like the legacy that they left behind and I think when when you watch and you realize mm-hmm. oh my gosh Bobby did this Bobby did that you know and the guy has lived a full life but he's also given so much to like the sound of music that has right. led to where we are now you know mm-hmm. and the best thing about yeah, playing but- like a real like a real person is to actually learn from them like I've learned so much from the new edition story about the business side and then now being a part of the Bobby Brown story I'm learning so much 
and how important family is. You know what I mean? Bobby is always about his family. So you're learning as you go. Gabrielle, I want to ask you, you're playing, you're trying to occupy the space of Whitney Houston, and that's a big space, just as Bobby Brown is. Yeah, absolutely. How did you do, how'd you do this? I got on my knees and I prayed <laughs> every morning, every night. Um, but yeah, that's a good start. Yes, oh, it's a great sure. start because she was very, you know, of God, and, and she had that relationship as well. And uh, being able to talk to people that knew her personally, um, all the way from Bobby Brown down to people that worked with her, that sang with her. Um, Babyface was on set, got to you know just you know just kind of be in their presence and, and help share this. I felt closer to her because I felt like I got to know her through the eyes of other people. And, you know, we have our visions of what we think we are, but it's it's what other people think is sometimes so groundbreaking and mm. so eye opening of like, oh, wow, you really left a mark on people. Um, so for me, the preparation was just watching videos, speaking to people that knew her um, and just kind of going with my gut of of trying to not portray or uh, play a caricature of her. It was more of like, who is this Who is this person at the core? And why does she choose to do the things that she does? Because usually every action has a reaction and everything that we do in our lives comes from, from an emotion or a pain or there's some, some catalyst to that. So I hope that this story helps show her side of that story as well as his. And most importantly, I think it's great that this is not the Bobby and Whitney story. This is the Bobby Brown story and we just happen that Whitney's a part of that and she's a huge part of that. But I think it's great to be able to see the family and the love and the heart part of this movie because we know the music's going to be there. We're all going to be jamming and bobbing our head. We know there's going to be lots of entertainment because Bobby was a wild boy. <laughs> <That's> wild. <laughs> but the flip side of that is Bobby was a, is a true family man, and he was surrounded by and has been surrounded by lots of love. And we get to see that side of him mm -hmm. that we don't get to see in the tabloids or in music videos. So I'm, I'm very excited for people to kind of, I feel like this is kind of a rebirth of Bobby Brown and, and, and what he's gone through. Gabrielle Dennis, they say you deliver a stunning performance. And Woody McClain, they said there is no match for you being Bobby Brown. I want to thank you guys. When can we watch it? Where do we watch it? BET, September, September 4th. September 4th and 5th, <laughs> only on BET. 9 yes. p.m. Eastern. Be there. Our, we will be there. Thank you and the best of luck to both of you guys. I expect great things from you. You're both so talented. Thank, thank you. you. We really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much, Valder.